Hello, fellow Bubble developers. Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you another scenario to use repeating groups without creating a new data type. In this example, we'll use the text and the file data types already available in Bubble. Before I get to a demo, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I do appreciate it. Okay, so what we have here is a repeating group um, and then actually a nested repeating group here. And on this one here, it is basically a file and I open up a, a new window to show that file and from here you can go and save it. Now this is just an image, but it could be any sort of uh, Excel file or a PDF file or whatever it may be in your use case. And then over here, I have it for a URL. So it opens up this page here. And let's get into the design. It's fairly straightforward and simple. So here we have a repeating group. And in that it is of type user. And then it's basically a search for the, the users. And here I have this test file isn't empty as a constraint. Uh, for this demo, the reason I have that is so that I just pull the users that have a uh, test file with some data in it. In your scenario, you'll probably have a different uh, constraint for your design. So over here, within the repeating group, I have two different repeating groups. This one here is a repeating group of type file. And I'll just scroll down to the bottom where file is located. And for this one, the data source is the current cells users test file. And then over here for this one, it's of type text, this repeating group, and that's down at the bottom here, text. So we just looked at uh, file, and this one is text. And just to contrast, you know, typically you'll see different data types and so forth. So uh, these are all the different ones I have um, on my, my design here. Um, so this one is just out of the box text, and for it, it is current users uh, test URLs. Let me just jump over to the data design here for users and under data types and this one here I've got test files which is just a list of files and then test URLs which is just a list of text so if you're not familiar I'm just going to do a test here and then the data type is text or file and then it's a list of those so that's all there is to set up the, the data uh, fields. Let me run over to the app data itself. So for this user here, scroll down, and it's test files. And you can see I have the files located in here. And then over to test URLs, I have these URLs. I manually added these, and I'll put a link uh, above so you can see the video to show you how to manually uh, add de uh, data into your bubble database and then over back to the design here so again I'm just uh, pulling in the current sales users test data files which we just looked at down here where is it test files and then for this one here it is of type text and I'm just pulling in the current users users test URL which is down here right there test URLs and then within each of these repeating groups I have a, a link and for the link it is basically just the current cells file name here and then the link's destination is external versus internal. I'm not going to an internal page on my design here. I'm going to an external page for these. And then the destination is going to be the current cells file and then the URL for that. And then open in a new tab so that when this is clicked, it opens in a new tab instead of the existing tab that the app is running in. Similarly, over here, I have current cells text, which has the URL. And then, again, external URL, current cells, text, open a new tab. So let me just quickly go over here to add a repeating group if you're not familiar. 
So repeating group under containers. And I'm going to just change this to two to give a little more space. And the type of content, again, we're using text and we're using file. I'll go through it with the text here. The data source is going to be the current cells users. And then down here to test. Uh, where is it? Test URLs. And then within each of the cells, I'll scroll back up here for the elements, and it's going to be a link. And so I'm going to put a link inside the repeating group. And then dynamic data, current cells text. And for this one here, this is yeah the URL, so external. And then it is going to be current cells text. And that is it. And then also open a new tab. So that's basically how you add the repeating group as well as the link within the repeating group. And then the data structure, again, over here for it is just simply using the out of the box um, bubble text and file. So a list of files and a list of text here. And that's all there is to go and set this up so you can have nested repeating groups without creating a new data type and using Bubble's existing text and file data types. Again, if you like these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you.